friends, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about my contour routine. I lie, I've never contoured a day in my life. This is my first time contouring because I've always been the kind of girl that I believe in playing up your features naturally more so than doing like the extra, extra. <sighs> Unfortunately today I've had to put my foot in my mouth. I gave this little gem a try today and oh my god you will see from my reaction my complete and honest total shock what no way oh my god what? of what this product did to me this is the sephora highlight low light face contour duo in deep this was definitely an impulsive purchase because I was buying some brushes and I needed free shipping so I threw this in there and Oh my god, where have I been? Um, I really, really enjoyed using this. It's super creamy. When I first put it on, I was just like, what is this? Oh my god, I just put like grease on my face. Oh my god, this is so creamy. It's like almost oily. It's super creamy, very easy to go on. It doesn't dry too quickly, so it's very easy to buff in. The box that it comes in actually has directions on how to apply contour. I looked up plenty of videos, and I also learned that a lot of times um, contouring isn't just a, a one-way thing. You have to do what's going to suit your face and your structure. Creating a shadow to bring out the features that you want to stand out is what contouring essentially really is. So, you know what? Makeup is supposed to be fun. There's no harm in giving something a try. It's not like it's etched in stone forever. Like, you must contour forever, ever, ever. I only used the contour end. Actually, you know what? Let's give this highlight end a go as well. Is this too light for me? What was this? So Whoop. Hey. This is just me mimicking the YouTube videos I've seen, you guys. Don't... I'm no professional. I'm just oh, oh, did not mean to do that. Oh well. Blend this in with the beauty blender, like I've seen all the YouTubers do. Let's see, if this makes a difference. Oh my goodness. I mean, like, what is life? What is really life? Is this thing magic? Originally, the idea behind this video was to prove that you definitely don't need all the extra highlighting and contouring and all that jazz to be ready and on your way out. But after trying this, I'm definitely putting my foot in my mouth because you see my reaction to when I was putting this on. It's super creamy, very easy to go on. It doesn't dry quickly, so it makes it very easy to buff in. The box that it comes in actually has instructions on how to apply the contour and the highlighting end of the stick. Um, but after my research of billions of YouTube videos, I learned that contouring and highlighting is never the same for everyone. For me, I placed it right underneath my cheekbones and a little bit under my jawline and a little bit on my giant forehead because I have enough to go around anyway. So I definitely really enjoyed using this. Like I said, it's very creamy. It doesn't feel sticky or anything of the sort. I would definitely, definitely recommend this. I will give this a 5 out of 5. If I could do 10 out of 5, I definitely would because this is amazing. Again, this is the Sephora Highlight and Low Light Contouring Duo in the color Deep. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Saturday review on this Sephora Highlight and Low Light Contouring Duo. And I hope you like and subscribe and share with your friends. See you next week. Bye.